Hi, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a good Thursday. Um, I'm having a pretty decent Thursday. I'm kind of multitasking here, so I'm in the middle of doing like a lot of things. So, um, Beauty Creep, um, if you're watching, thanks for the thanks for the uh, video thing. Um, I haven't did a tag in quite a while. She didn't personally tag me, but I just thought I wanted to do it because it's been a while since I did it. Sorry for looking the way I do. I'm kind of got on some makeup, but I don't really do. I'm kind of like midpoint because I'm still debating whether or not I want to do a um, tutorial. But I thought since I haven't did a tag video in quite a while, let's do one today. So this tag is about addictions tag, as you can see from up above. It tells you a little bit, you know. So let's get started. Question number one: Are you addicted to social community slash social networks? Of course, I do Twitter a lot. Um, based on my Facebook fan page and my regular Facebook um things, I'm on Facebook a lot. Um, even when I'm my my I never really lock off Facebook, so it makes it seem like I'm on there like all day, but I'm really not because I have it on, and sometimes I forget to log off. But it doesn't matter because I'm here by myself in my own apartment. So, hey, no one's going to come in and do it. So, yeah, um, I do that. Um, I do I do Twitter. Twi try to tweet as much as I can. Um, I don't too much. But if you guys want, I will put the Twitter username, the, my ch Twitter link down below if I don't forget to do it. Oh, well. I'm sorry if I did. But, yeah, I do tweet in case you guys want to follow it does have some good deals of Mark and stuff as well, but as you see, I tweet. I'm on YouTube more because I a lot too because I do subscribe to a lot of people and I do check out video the videos for them and I if I remember to I'll comment them. I usually like the videos if I don't get the comment thing, so that's pretty much how that went. So yeah, it's yeah I'm on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter a lot. Um. Do I do any other ones? Yeah, I do do my my blog um, sometimes. Um, my blogs for my Mark stuff. I usually do my videos from YouTube onto that because lately that's mostly what I've been doing and it really has like some of the stuff that I do. So yeah, it's just pretty much what it is. Question number two, would you rather give up TV or the internet? Since, ten, since I kind of gave up my TV anyway because I don't have cable anymore, I know some of you guys are pretty much shocked. Well, the thing was, is like this. It came to the point where I had to choose anyway, for real. And since I don't really watch, at the time, I didn't really watch cable that much. It was mostly like kind of on the internet. And now that you can watch your shows on the internet, I was like, why? Why not? So what I did was I just got rid of my cable. And I've been happy. Only time I really use my TV is watching DVDs, which I'm watching The Hangover too. I don't see it so much. But yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much the hi the highlight for it. Yeah, I pretty much would choose the internet because a lot of my interactions with people are on the internet. Um, my uh, Mark stuff is on the internet. I get to interact with my uh, customers and future customers with it. So yeah, that's pretty much how I do my stuff. Number three, do you listen to the radio and which stations? Um, I don't really too much. Um, I would say that if I do it, it's I'm on the, <laughs> the internet and listening to Pandora. Um, before I go to bed, sometimes I'll listen to the Calm medita Meditation Station. If not, it's usually something with old school like the Isley Brothers or the Temptations. Sometimes I'll listen to the Neo Station that I created and stuff. So yeah, Pandora rocks. Free. It's always great. Um, number four, do you read newspapers or magazines? Um, sometimes I'll read them if I have them. Magazines I really got now is pretty much fitness magazines because I'm trying to get myself into motivated to get into shape and stuff. Because, you know, um, I'm, like I told you guys before, I'm trying to eat right, which I have been. I honestly say I don't have, I didn't have when I go and get junk, I don't get as much as I used to, and that's like a big, big deal for me because I usually just have to have some kind of a lot of junk and stuff in the house. I don't really do takeout this much, as much as I sometimes pray for it a lot, I don't do it as much, so that's actually been an improvement. So yeah, I will say that I used to read like the little teen magazines and stuff like that. Well, I do kind of get... I read them online a little bit because sometimes they're in 
they, in, they um, have like the top beauty products and something like that and markets rest, recognized and I usually like to tell people like look the market's making their mark into the, the magazines and, st and stuff like that so yeah I do time to time do it it's like Cosmopolitan, Cosmo Girl, um, you know probably like Vogue or uh, Allure sometimes I'll read those online but not much. Number five, do you place great importance of your cell phone? Yes, my cell phone, well, not much lately because I don't really, not too much unless it's my mom calling about something. But for the most part, uh, I probably couldn't go without it because sometimes um, when I'm out and about, I do, tweet, I do tweet. And then I also do my Facebook on my phone. Like I'll check, um, I either put do a status on my phone or I'll go and check it on the, the internet. Since the internet's free, might as well. So, yeah, I do check that. So, yeah, I'm pretty much say it's a semi-important. It's not like my whole life depends on it. But, not yet. But once I start to do what I need to do, it probably will eventually move up there. Um, Number six, do you have a notebook or slash tablet PC? Well, right now we're on the laptop. It's the Acer laptop. It's um refurbished model, but it's good, and it's purple. Um, yeah, I have to get favorite color. So yeah, um, so now, but I would love to actually own a tablet because I think it'd be a little bit more organizer organized for me because sometimes my laptop can be a nuisance and it don't want to do doesn't want to cooperate when I like do my videos or anything so if you guys know like a good software is either too little to no money at all that I can use let me know great um what's your favorite book that's not a fair question because as a person who's an avid book reader it's kind of hard to just name just one um I collected a lot of books in the past years, especially since first moving here, it was like I was still doing that, so I will probably say like, um, probably like the Noah Roberts in Depth series though, because those are my favorite, those are the ones I really got into it, because I could say that because she was my first official, like, novel besides Stephen King that I read. Stephen King was my first novel I read, but Nora Roberts was the other one that I really got into. She really also continued to inspire me to want to write someday. So, yeah, I have to say, yeah, I do love them both. Number eight is, would you rather give up your books or movies? Are you crazy? I would never give up my books because my books are awesome. They, they like, you can kind of imagine, like, the characters and the stories and what's happening so it's kind of like having your own visual movie plus like some of the books that actually come on movies they also don't have like every central part so you're missing a whole lot so I think I would prefer the books than anything because like I said I think I would rather read more than watch the movie um what's my favorite tv series well, when I get a chance to do decide to watch, um, I'll probably like if we go cartoon wise, gotta be Family Guy or the Cleveland Show. Um, American Dad, I do like that. Sometimes I watch South Park. Um, we're doing like regular shows, probably like House and Bones because my mom got me into that. And then like shows, well, since I most of my shows I don't watch, it's not on TV no more. Oh, I do watch a uh, Secret Life of the American Teenager. I watched it since day one, and I loved it because it actually was telling, it kept it real, and then it also definitely was telling kids about you know that pregnancy can be preventable, especially at a young age, and it's also you know right to do the contraceptives and stuff like that. So I do love that. So I would say those are the main ones that I have watched now. So it's not that many. So, but I do. Watch it. Number ten. Would you rather stay in or watch it? Stay in and watch a DVD or go out and see a movie? Well, that question really depends on my mood. Some days I have my I want to be at home and I just want to watch a movie. Some days I just really want to get out and see like a movie. Like I really want to go see Breaking Dawn Part One because I usually go and see it, see the movie when it comes out. But I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But I really want to go out and see the movies. But I do like going out because movies are movies are fun to go out. You can always make fun of the person that's in the movie thing that screams over nonsense stuff, and you're like, "Yes, let's see it again." But that's just me. 
Um, number 11, if you were starring in a movie, what genre would you be? That's a tough one. If we're based on my life, well, probably would have been in like a horror movie because it, well, there was a time where things just wasn't just all that great. But I would say maybe a love story one day. I'm hoping. Well, one of those love stories like The Notebook. That'd be kind of cool. But I don't really know what's that, exactly what drama would be. It'd probably be like a big question mark because people, if people look at it like, huh? And I'm saying, huh? So I'm thinking like, huh? If that was a drama, the drama that would be what it is. Okay. Um, 12 is what movie, books, TV character is most like you? I thought about that uh, based on all the books that I read. Um, I really didn't pay too much TV, attention to TV or like movies. But book wise, I would say I was like a character um, from the Nora Roberts book, um, Dallas, because she, she never did a girly girl thing. She never dressed in girls. She never, it was just totally out of her comfort zone it's just to do that. It's just like she just felt like not herself. It's just like it was like she made such a big deal. It was funny because she was like, I don't want to do this. But what's this for? Especially like one of the persons that she knew was getting married and she had to be like in the wedding and so I mean she, that means they had to glamour up and dress her up thing and it was she was so pissed about it which was funny because and then I thought to myself that's like me because as much as I do like dresses and stuff like that I don't really like to wear them much you know I would rather just stick to my jeans and my t-shirt and my hoodies and I'm good to go but I, I do like to, sometimes I do, you know, catch, you know, depends on the occasion, yeah, I do like to, but for the most part, no. I'm more like her and just really rather just be in my jeans. If I could be cool to have a leather, cool leather jacket like she do, I'd be awesome. Um, 13, which celebrity would you like to meet? A um, lot of people. I really like Justin Timberlake, of course, because he was with the members of NSYNC. Definitely Neo, because Neo has really hot music. Um, definitely Ryan Reynolds, because he's a hot, he's a hottie. Um, he's also cool in his movies. Um, definitely Bradley Cooper from The Hangover. I think I would like to meet all the guys from The Hangover, because it's just kind of cool, just, you know, meet them and, you know, ask them questions about how to feel to do the hangover, you know, and why did you guys want to do it with Mike Tyson? Because Mike Tyson creepy, and when he does that rap thing in the movie of the second one, um, if you hadn't seen it, it's creepy. Singing is not his forte, put it that way. But yeah, I would like, those are the things that, like, women, I will say I would like to meet Carly Phillips, because she's a good author. I would like to meet Nora Roberts, of course. And I'm sorry for the noise in the background. For some reason, they're blowing leaves and doing all this work and stuff, and usually times, they've been doing it for the past three, four hours. So, if you hear the noise, that's what that is, blowing. So, Nora Roberts and Car Carly Phillips, I would definitely like to meet them, um... I guess I just mostly books. I just, just, just put it that way. Um, number 14. Do you have a favorite computer or game or console games? Duh, The Sims. I like to play The Sims. It's always fun to like create these characters. Is sometimes they like totally out of your thing. Create drama. Create. Well, they don't really create drama because sometimes they create their own. With they get their own little crazy shenanigans, especially like when the gun guy that I going to say his name is Don. I, he was already a pre-made Sim character, and he was interested in two girls. There's the Sim characters are already created, and they're sisters. And <laughs> he got them both pregnant. I know, it sounds weird. He got them both pregnant, but the girl is passing off the baby to the guy that she's married, which pretty much like her sugar daddy, because he's old enough to to be her grandpa, because he's actually old. Um, and the guy already has, like, two kids anyway. His wife, his original wife went missing, so technically I think he's a bigamist, because she's still alive. And, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much the crazy hassles of The Sims, and I love it because it's really fun game that I like to do, especially like now they have like other things like, you know, they have their own business, you know, pets, the weather can change, that, um, they can drive, so it was like, it was kind of cool, because I used to create my own self as the Sims and family and stuff like that, I guess because it was like what I would like to have one day, so yeah, 
it's not the drama because my family never had the drama. My family always had the kids. They went went they went to school. They got good grades. They went to college, got good grades, graduated, and they married their persons that they were in love with since um, teenage when they were teenagers. So they all pretty much had happy lives, and they're having kids and stuff like that. So they pretty much had a pretty good life. Um. I, I think I've created The Sims of my former friends, and I'm not sure how their life went because I stopped playing for a while. But yeah, The Sims will be the favorite game console that I love to play. And um, I used to, with it at the time, um, the uh, Tomb Raider um, PlayStation wise, when it was a PlayStation. I don't. GameCube, I have, and I play the, a few games on there, but. I think the PC games are more my thing now because I don't know. I've just been playing those since I had them. So yeah, it's pretty much. Number fifteen. What's my favorite music genre? Um, I would say the oldies. I love the old school thing. I don't really like current music. I don't really like a lot of current music right now because I'm really getting sick of the smacking it and baby drop it low and liquid stuff. I don't really know what the hell is going on. The kind of songs and. These pretty much perverted, inappropriate songs that they come out with, and they still, I, I just don't get it. So, yeah, that's pretty much the highlight of that one. Um, Number 16, which band or singer did you love as a kid or a teen? That's easy. NSYNC. I was a big NSYNC fan. Dude, I have a, dude, I have a, 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 fold, a folder, big binder folder of all NSYNC pictures that me and my friends collected, but they these are my versions of them I have. Um, we had an NSYNC, an NSYNC fan club. I came up with the name. I don't, I don't still why I don't know. I don't know why it wasn't president because I came up with the name and every, most of the stuff that came up with the name. I came up with the name because it was funny because you know how NSYNC is named. We do the letter N, same for NSYNC because, you know, that's how it was. But anyway, that's pretty much my main thing. I mean, I love the Backstreet Boys, but it was like they were cool. But then after a while, I felt like they tried to take over all the NSYNC fans when NSYNC decided to take their little hiatus. And it was just really... So NSYNC has always been my favorite band as boy band growing up and it always will be even today i wish they would come back because i really wish they'd come back and at least do one one more album and one tour that would be totally freaking awesome okay the last question is why did you join the youtube community i joined because I was watching videos before and i was like seeing everybody doing these videos i can't remember um, the videos that I was that I had before when I first joined, when I first started doing videos, um, but I just thought, okay, be something to do. Um, I when I finally got the chance to know that my little webcam here worked and then I can do that and the sound came out pretty good, I thought to myself, maybe I can just start doing them, doing some Mark videos and introducing people to Mark and stuff like that. And then I thought to myself. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to do more than just Mark thing because I know most people, I know you guys are probably not tired of it, but I want to do different variety of things. So do not only beauty, you know, do like some personal talk, advice, relationship advice, and everything. So that's pretty much that's what I would do. But and then I, that's the reason why I joined, that's the one reason why I joined because I, I thought it was fun to do was something to take a few moments out of my time, out of the day or days, depending on how many videos I decided to do and just do that. And it was fun, especially being able to create the music videos and though that those take more longer to do than they would do like the regular talk videos because I don't really edit it too much. Sometimes I have to stop the video and then um, do a whole new one because I don't feel like completely like editing everything out. But I feel like this. If I mess up, I just like to keep it real with you guys. Um, if I mess up, I mess up. So basically, that I mean, I, I, I joined the YouTube community because it was fun. It just be something thing and then actually joining up with the Google AdSense just was like icing on the cake because it was like it helps to um, to do that, because I actually like it, I mean, I love YouTube, I love watching videos, so I was like, well, why not being able to get the opportunity to make my own, I, 
and I thank all my subscribers who watch and, and make comments and stuff like that because it means a lot and I like feedback and plus I can get it to show all my friends on Facebook when I like my own video sometimes and like show them so thank you guys for watching this uh, that was it from this so thank you guys for watching the tag edition of the tag edit for the addictions and you guys uh, always awesome so um i'm probably find another tag one to do for like another day if i don't do it today so but anyway that was fun because i miss doing tags so i tag anybody who watches this to do this it means a lot if you can and if you do do it as a video response because i'll do a video response or link me the video and i will um i will check it out because you know i like to watch everybody's videos so Thank you, Beauty Creep, um, for the video. You, you, you rock. Um, that being said, that being said, thank you, and you guys have a great one. Bye.